Hey all, Joe here with All Funnies and Games, and today we're going to have a really fun episode. I have a friend on the line with me, my friend Matt here. Hi hey, Matt. Everybody. Hi. So, a while ago, it was kind of a weird little thing. I was trying to see what kind of giveaway would be fun when my first blog post hit 100 readers. And the only people who responded were players in my campaigns who wanted me to draw character sketches of them. <laughs> so, Matt's one of the players in my campaign, and I'm going to draw him a character sketch here on the channel. Yay. So, um, Matt, this is your character, Chance. Yep. So I guess you can talk about Chance some, and I'll handle some drawing. Yeah, he's a, he's pretty broad-shouldered. I mean, he, uh, he grew up in the vaults. This game being in the Fallout universe, he grew up in a vault as kind of a hired muscle guard type. Not too bright, but uh, it, it was all about what he could do physically. So yeah, he's he's six foot, so kind of average height, but he's two thirty, a uh, two hundred thirty pound build. So he's a pretty buff, muscular guy. I kind of typecast myself in a lot of games that I play, and the uh, tortured hero archetype so he he was a guard for the angels who are a gang in our game who took over this vault and so they basically put him to work as a guard and being a gang they didn't really have a lot of uh the most scrupulous behavior so they had him do a lot of things that he wasn't proud of this one time kind of his defining moment as a character there's this woman who was kind of defying what the angels were trying to make her do, she was defying their authority. So they were having a chance to restrain her. And in the course of that, he accidentally puts her in kind of an arm lock and puts her on the ground and she suffocates to death. And so that traumatizes him. And from that point on, he, he knew that he had to stop. And then from there, the, the game kind of progresses and the rest of the story is from our game. So yeah, that that's kind of what defined him. So he's, he's this, big muscle head who hates himself for his past and is trying to atone for it, basically. I know in our campaign, they spend a lot of time in vault suits. Did you have anything different you wanted to see him in? Because they have been out of the vault suits time to time. No, I mean, I imagine that he's got the vault suit on and then he's he has plated uh, or leather armor with plates on it, kind of been customized by another character in the game Gadget. He wears the vault suit underneath his armor. Okay, so plated leather. This is actually good for me to review. I don't remember what I've given you guys. Yeah, that's why I the got the character sheet, because it's a lot to remember. So I'm going to have him just kind of holding glory, just sort of downward and doing this I choose you opponent kind of pose, if that feels chance-ish to you. Sure, yeah. And chance is a lot of fun. You know, one, one of those characters that's really fun to have at the table, just because, and maybe this is my background, I usually play barbarian types. I love the guy who will just say, the rogue is being a coward. I will find the traps with my face. You people try and keep up. <laughs> and you know, Ch <laughs> Chance pulls that archetype from time to time. I mean, he does what he needs to do. And with his past, he's not afraid to take some personal loss at it. Get things done. And this is exciting, seeing him kind of come to life here. Maybe leather pauldrons. That kind of feels like the look a little bit. Sure, yeah, and I think, because uh, I imagine the leather armor in this world is kind of like, it, it doesn't have a lot strapped to it, it's kind of like mo mostly a vest, and so maybe some leather pauldrons with a little bit of metal plate on top of it. Okay. Oh, sure. Spike okay with spikes? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Maybe spikes on one, plates on the other. Get that post-apocalyptic feel in the asymmetry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm usually a big fan of asymmetry and the armor that I make for LARPing and stuff. So. And what you're coloring right now actually looks a whole lot like my costume that I made for a local LARP called Dystopia Rising. It looks almost exactly like that. <laughs> I mean, I am vaguely basing it off of that vest because I'm pretty sure you wore that vest to our first RPG session with Fallout. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. And then I'm trying to remember, did you have him with a mustache? Uh, no, he's clean shaven. And then I don't know for hair what we were working with for Chance. I imagine him just with real short, probably half an inch 
kind of military cut. Not like a high and tight, but just kind of a shorter buzz cut all over. Oh, man, I can't wait to see you draw glory. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting bit. So, yeah, glory, this uh, sword here. That is the name of a shish kebab in this game. So if you're familiar with Fallout lore, you should know what a shish kebab is. They're, they're very neat. So the whole story with Glory is that it belonged to Vince, who was the basically the manager of the vault. He was one of the head guys in the Angels gang, and uh, he kept it locked away in his office. Well, a revolt started, and so that was Chance's opportunity to get out. He was, from the moment that he smothered the one girl um, who is in captivity, he was always looking for a way out and a way to bring some retribution to the people who made him do that. And so uh, as soon as the rioting start, started breaking out and we, there were these scientists who made these Molotov cocktails, so everything was on fire. And so Chance was running through fire, going straight for Vince's office. And uh, he knew exactly where it was being one of the guards. And so he, he just goes right for it and just takes... Vince out and gets the sword and it was pretty awesome. I felt like it was a good way to fit Fallout lore, but flavor it differently than some of the games have flavored it in the past. And uh, I think I talked about this some on my blog, because I've been doing kind of session notes. They are nowhere near caught up to where we actually are in the story, but they're there. Kind of just opening up a uh, Fallout game, basically with you are slaves, you were captured by a gang that took over your vault, and opening an inciting incident of the game was Slave Rebellion. And it was really interesting for Chance, too, because he wasn't a slave. He was kind of on the opposite side of that as one of the guards, and so that was a good point, a good turning point for him, because up to that point, he just really in this moral gray area, not sure what's right and what's not. And so that kind of set what he was supposed to be doing. So yeah, it was really cool. And I never really played the Fallout games, just only a little bit here and there. So I don't really know the lore. So to me, this whole game is the Fallout universe to me. That was one thing that made it interesting was they're not, we're not playing with a group that has played the games a lot. Doing a game in the Fallout universe was something I had just kind of in the works in the back of my head for probably years. Just because I like the universe so much and I, I didn't envision that this was how it would go, but it's turned out really interesting just because it's players who haven't seen all the stuff that the Fallout universe has, you know? So a lot of that stuff kind of hits fresh in a way that it wouldn't have. <laughs> with a group that wanted to play the game because they already knew it, already loved it. I think that so, uh, we probably would have made a few less mistakes <laughs> if we uh, if we would have known a little bit more about some of the things that were out there. <laughs> possibly. Then again, you're a fun group, and fun groups occasionally make worse mistakes because it's funny. That is also true. <laughs> So I imagine these vault suits being kind of a one-piece, like a almost like a jumpsuit kind of thing. Yeah, they're, they're like a they're like a blue and yellow jumpsuit. So and most of the yellow probably won't show. It's usually just in like the branding and the vault number and stuff like that that you even see the yellow. All right. So most of what's going to show in this is going to be the blue. Yeah, thinking about it and like. Thinking about how you guys haven't really played Fallout before, did you even know the vault suits were blue? Is that a surprise to you when I started coloring? I imagined it was yellow. Hmm. <laughs> it's exciting seeing him get fleshed out. Yeah. Is he is he coming together kind of how you were imagining? Yeah. I'm always impressed with how quick and precise you can be with those... Uh, those brush strokes on the computer. <laughs> yeah, well, we're doing a lot more talking in this than I do in some of my videos, which is interesting because it means if I keep all this dialogue, people might see how slowly I actually draw. It's a lot of those fast, precise, and I hope you can hear the air quotes as I <laughs> don't mime them on this non-seeing us format. Wow, I lost the thread of those words for a second there. It looks a lot faster when I try and edit this thing down to f five minutes with a 
some fast forwarding and all of that. So, uh, what color hair does he have? I'm uh, just like uh, brown. I imagine that's kind of being the look that he uh, goes into Vince's office and takes Glory and then uh, drags him out of the office and <laughs> has the uh, mob room over the balcony. Yeah. It's the kind of start of the adventure chance. Yeah. All right. So unless I'm missing any big key details, I think that's pretty much chance. Yeah. <laughs> Look that's about right. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. It was fun watching you put that together. It was fun having you be on the show commenting. It's fun doing this two person. I haven't got to do that before, so well, cool. So yeah, I know. Just uh, th thanks, and this is what ha happens when you stay involved with your friends. You <laughs> you get to do cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Well, thanks for being on. Uh, thanks for coming in and having a thing for me to draw. That definitely helps focus the energies and get me actually doing something. So. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah, for those of you watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, you can like, comment, subscribe. That's the spiel you hear from every YouTuber. More than any of that, you can tell a friend. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.